Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mysterious Monsters. In this week's episode, we take a look at the Sigbin monster. Now, the Sigbin is a very, very terrifying creature from the Philippines. Now, it's said to lurk in the shadows at night, and who sucks the blood of victims by consuming their shadows. Now, the Philippines uh, has some amazingly bizarre, uh, you know, cryptides or, you know, creatures, monsters, you name it. The Philippines has got it. Now, the Philippines is very, very uh, interesting to me. It intrigues me very much because they have a lot of, you know, monster sightings over there. And it's just unreal the amount and the list they've got over there of monsters. Now, getting back to the Sigbin. The Sigbin is said to walk backwards with its head lowered between its hind legs. Now, it has the convenient advantage of in invisibility. Uh, and especially humans are vulnerable to its powers of deception as well. Now, it resembles a mere hornless goat, uh, but with very large ears, uh, which, you know, it, it can clap like a pair of hands. So, obviously, <laughs> its ears are, are, you know, very strong and very powerful. Um, now, it has a very long, flexible tail, uh, which it uses as a whip. So that would be obviously a defense mechanism if you know, it was ever you know, seen it or went after it in any way. Now it's unlikely that the you know the goat um, ever encountered serious problems while crossing the bridge to the other side. You get what I mean? Now the Sigbin is said to uh, you know emit a nauseating odor sometimes. Um, it has a tendency to to uh, crab walk backwards as well, uh, looking for children to devour. And obviously, you know, it's yeah, it's quite strange because obviously, power of deception, and obviously going after children being the more you know easier target than an adult, I suppose. Now, in two thousand and five, scientists in uh, Borneo uh, discovered a cat fox-like carnivore with hind legs longer than its forelegs, uh, suggesting that it was you know uh, endowed with the awkward uh, get and terrifying physical appearance of the Sigmund. Now indeed many of the characteristics are uncanny, uh, very similar, uh, but no conclusion, you know, no conclusive evidence has yet been unearthed. Uh, the Sigmund evidently hides its tracks most effectively, and obviously it's very hard to track the Sigmund down. But from obviously from what I've dug up on the, the Sigmund I say it's one of the most terrifying creatures I've done so far. You know, I've done the Goat Man, I've done the Moth Man, I've done many, many, many. But the Sigmund for me uh, is kind of, it kind of um, compares to the uh, Chubacabra. But the Sigmund, I'd, I'd say, it's more, <laughs> it's more terrifying looking than, than the Chubacabra in my opinion. And obviously, going after, uh, you know, people is. is a, a human, you know, eater, meat eater, uh, especially as a sweet tooth for you know children as well. So the Sigbin, I definitely say, is one of the most terrifying monsters I've spoken about. Uh, I'd say it's one of the most terrifying ones I've done in a while. Um, but the Sigbin, definitely, definitely one of the most scary ones. Um, obviously, the reason why I'm, I'm stretching out to the Philippines and other countries now is because obviously on Facebook. Um, I do check where people are from, so obviously I cater to everybody in the audience, and I think it's very interesting as well um, that everybody, um, you know, hears about their monster from their country, and obviously people uh, from other countries know about their monsters, and they can look it up and check and stuff like that. So obviously I'm not, I'm not just catering to my own country, I'm not just catering to, to one specific country, I'm catering to a few, um, but. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. But um, thank you very much um, for watching this episode again, everybody. Um, stay tuned for more. I'll be putting up a haunted property uh, episode as well today as well. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please subscribe as we are just shy of 100. So let's get to triple digits. I'd, I'd very, very much appreciate that. Um, but stay tuned for more. And thank you very much for watching again, everyone. Uh, this has been the episode on the Sigbin, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.